How and why was Wallenberg chosen to go to Budapest? And what exactly was his assignment? I, I know in the book you write, there's all different factors from the Swedish side, from the American side. What's the whole story behind the assignment? And what was it? What was he assigned to do? Yes, as you say, there are a lot of parallel processes here. So you cannot just say that he went because of that. Uh, first of all, to start with, uh, he, uh, of course, in uh, Stockholm, the, uh, the Hungarian Jews in exile uh, became panicked when uh, Hitler occupied, German, uh, occupied Hungary in March 1944. So already then there were plans for a Swedish mission based mainly in the Jewish congregation in Stockholm to Hungary. And a, a central figure in planning this was Raoul Wallenberg's boss in this Swedish Hungarian export import firm, because his boss was one of these Hungarian Jews in exile. Kalman Lauer was his name. Uh, and he, uh, started to plan for this mission. Uh, we have to send uh, non-Jews from Sweden to save the, the Hungarian Jews uh, was, was the thought that they, they uh, uh, worked with. And uh, of course, to him, Harald Wallenberg had been in Budapest several times. He had a network already in business. So to Kalman Lauer, uh, Raoul Wallenberg was the natural person to go there. But when the, this name came up, uh, the rabbi of the Swedish uh, Jewish congregation in Stockholm said no, because Raoul Wallenberg happened to have suggested to him that maybe we need to bribe some people in Hungary to save Jews. And to, to the rabbi, that was not serious enough. He was an advert too adventurous, um, this young man, only, only 31 years old at the time. But what changed this whole situation was uh, the start of the mass deportations uh, in the end of May, when uh, over 400,000 Hungarian Jews were deported in only th seven weeks. And already from day one, uh, a new mission started to, to uh, be planned. Um, you had in the United States, uh, you can say that the United States waited very long before they actually wanted to interfere in the ongoing Holocaust. And, and in January, they had founded a new, in January 1944, they had founded a new, uh, uh, this war refugee board, uh, that was supposed to be the United States arm dealing with uh, sending help uh, to, the Jew, the, to the persecuted European Jews. And Hungary, the deportations in Hungary was War Refugee Board's first mission. But they couldn't, United States couldn't act themselves. So what they did was that they asked neutral countries if they maybe could send an extra diplomat to to Budapest to administer an, a mission financed and led by the Americans. Sweden was asked. And as it happened, Raoul Wallenberg uh, and Hang uh, Kalman Lauer had their office in the same house as the American legation in Stockholm. So when this discussion was uh, started, uh, it was quite close to uh, also for the Americans to suggest Raoul Wallenberg as this person. They actually asked Kalman Lauer if he knew anyone that they could suggest to the Swedish uh, government. Yes, he said, his name is Raoul Wallenberg. And you know, they, they were so stressed. Um, they ha this had to happen quick. And Raoul Wallenberg was, I think, among few young men in Sweden at the time who was prepared to go to Budapest in the middle of the war like this. So that's a long story, but some, but the background. 